Chippy here, umcportal.com. Thanks for tuning in. I've got uh, another unboxing for you on this video. It's going to be the Lenovo Flex Flex 10. It's a touchscreen netbook plus based on Celeron Bay Trail M. Um, and we're doing this one interestingly, interestingly, and I have to uh, give you a little bit of an update here. Uh, I'm going to be doing some review work for notebookcheck.net. Uh, notebookcheck.com is the German site. Uh, they run an, an English site as well, .net, uh, where they do some excellent reviews. I'm, I'm for years have been impressed at the way they produce those reviews, the, the quality of them and the quality control on them as well because um, they do their testing really, really nicely. So fingers crossed I'm going to do a good job for those guys. Uh, Notebookcheck.info, uh, uh, sorry, notebookcheck.net, check it out and uh, that's where the full review of this will go. But the great thing is I get the chance to do a few side videos for you guys, uh, give you my sort of inside opinion. Uh, and maybe do a few uh, videos on things like what I'm really hoping for on this one is that I can open it up and do an SSD upgrade because this is a, a $299 to $349 uh, dollar euro um, device. It's very um, low priced and therefore some of the components inside are going to be low end. There's a 320 gig spinning hard drive in one version, um, for example. So I don't expect that to really pull out the best of the... Um, the seller on uh, CPU inside. So it'll be really interesting as to, if, as to see if I can do an SSD upgrade on that. So that's the sort of thing that I'll be doing uh, on the side as I get devices from Notebook Check to, to review. I'll be able to do them here. So thanks to Notebook Check. Um, also, before I do that, I'm just finishing off the review on the NUC. Incidentally, another Baytrail M based device, the 2820, Celeron N2820. And it's working really nice. I'm running it on OpenELEC. Um, so diskless, just running from a USB stick on the back there. Um, in fact, I'm not even connected to the LAN on this. I'm connected over Wi-Fi. Just been testing DVD players, uh, DVDs on that. Everything working really nicely on that, including my old uh, Xbox uh, remote control. So um, that's really, really nice. Interestingly, though, um, because a lot of my content personally is either streamed now or through a DRM service like Xbox Music, uh, my wife has films through Amazon.com, Love Film. Uh, this really is only useful for the content that I have in my NAS, and I generally am not adding to that. Um, you know, I'm not buying DVDs. I'm not making backup copies of them for myself, um, and so I think. What, 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 what is more interesting is is that when this is on a Windows 8 um, base. So XBMC have been running on a Windows 8 base so that you can switch from XBMC uh, into Windows 8 uh, you, touch user interface, which works quite nicely on a big screen. And uh, you can access these sort of DRM services uh, through that. So that's quite interesting. So, so X, uh, XBMC testing a review will go up in the next couple of days on umcportal.com. Right, sorry about that. Let's get into this, the Lenovo um, Flex, Flex 10. Like I said, 299 to 349 euros and dollars is what you'll pay for this. It's really in the netbook category of devices, but in a modern sort of way in that uh, it's got touchscreen, Windows 8, uh, and it's got that um, um, easel mode, which is quite handy. So. Because it's Lenovo, of course, I'll be looking quite closely at the uh, the keyboard, hoping for it already feels quite nice, actually, I have to say. and reminds me of the S205 that I had, which had an AMD inside and a, an 11.6-inch screen. Um, what is this? I think it's 1.2 kilos. It does feel a little bit dense, but it's only a 10-inch device, so that's why it feels dense. But uh, it's got a nice, nice finish to the casing as well. Actually, that's sort of quite... A, and interesting. I've never seen that sort of finish on a casing before. You can hear it. It's just plastic, but it's got a, a mottled uh, finish to it or a patterned finish to it. Um, so, like I said, 10 inch uh, display, touch screen. Um, I believe it's IPS. I, I believe it has to be IPS if you're going to be, you know, doing this sort of stuff with it as a tablet. Um, I will I will double check for you. 1366 by 768, so not the highest resolution, but still usable with Windows 8 without any problems there. Quite a small trackpad. All the keys are there. Even got a big right to shift key there um, and cursor keys. Um, page up, page down. 
looks okay no removable battery on the back stereo speakers we've got power we've got HDMI we've got USB 3 so that's interesting nice USB 3 uh, port there USB 2 on this side and do I see an SD card slot at all I don't and that's a real shame so no SD card slot at all on this so if you're um, if you're taking pictures and you're moving SD cards around you'll need to use a USB dongle for that a USB adapter but that uh, mode there is quite useful no digitizer layer on this um, but that is quite useful for plane train automobile and um, and also for for kids to use the touchscreen you know finger painting that sort of stuff and just like breakfast time I've been using this mode on on yogas uh, before just at breakfast time with news just to flick through news that's really nice mode and um, it's good to see that so um, like I said the full review will be going up on notebook uh, check uh, dot uh, net uh, let's just have a look see what else we've got in the in the package I really doubt there's much much else in here but it'd be interesting to see how big and heavy the adapter is fairly lightweight it's a stand mm, it's got one of the three pin um, three pin power plugs on it which usually means a thicker cable because it's got the third core but the adapter itself is probably a 19 volt 20 volt sorry that's a Lenovo and the classic Lenovo collect connector on there so at least you'll be able to use other connectors other Lenovo adapters uh, with it so yeah I will do uh, some first impressions for notebookcheck.net uh, pretty soon on this uh, and then we'll get right into the, the review but stay tuned to this YouTube channel because I'm I'm thinking you know one two three four five six seven screws and it really looks like it's going to come apart very easily and I think there might be a five mil drive in there rather than seven mil if it's five mil it could be a little bit difficult to do an ssd swap out on it if it's seven mil no problem i've got a um my digital ssd bp4 that will slot into there very easily uh, and i've got an m sata drive as well so maybe i could get an adapter as well so that could be a really interesting upgrade for this just to stick an ssd in there and watch the performance or at least the perceived performance and the usability just shoot right up because certainly and testing on the N2820 platform, um, the SSD and Windows 8.1 worked really nicely. Very, very quick user interface, uh, program startup, uh, file movements, uh, that sort of stuff. And so, so I just know that if you put a hard drive in there, it's really going to affect the performance quite badly. So anyway, let's uh, let's see. I mean, so for two ninety nine, that's an incredibly good value touchscreen device already. I mean, if it just works, it's a nice little device. It looks good. It feels light. One point two kilos. Um, if the battery life is good, and I'm only expecting a like a thirty watt hour battery on this or something similar. Um, I've got some notes. I've got some testing notes here. Um, the guys have already done things like um, brightness, screen brightness, and temperature testing on it as well these guys that know the trick they have really have a great uh, review system going it's very well controlled which really allows you to compare results against different devices i really um uh, advise you to, ch to check them out and check my review out and tell them it was brilliant so i can carry on writing for them um good lenovo um flex 10 is it flex 10 or is there a special name for it here ideapad flex 10 as I say, I think this might be the $349 version, which has got the 500 gig drive in it, but we'll see. Two gigs of RAM. Hopefully we can upgrade that as well. Right, so uh, stay tuned to this channel. Subscribe to this channel for, for new videos. UMPCPortal.com, where the uh, NUC, the NUC, the NUC videos, uh, sorry, reviews are going up. There's already two reviews gone up, one for Android and a sort of first initial hands-on and build. Uh, one for Windows 8.1, which has already gone on. Uh, so I'll have the XBMC video going up very, very soon in the next couple of days, hopefully. That's it. My name's Chippy, uh, at Chippy on Twitter, UMPCPortal.com, UltraBookNews.com, and very soon, NotebookCheck.net. Check me out on those channels and uh, hope to see you on the next video soon. Thanks for watching.